because what I'm going to show you right now, actually, we'll start with this. This is what one Bitcoin can do for you. It's, it's the best place to hold your purchasing power over time. So that's essentially what, what I want to start with here. This is kind of the, the key. And this is something that I've talked to people, I've met with clients, and this is the, the thing that really pushes them over the top in terms of understanding Bitcoin, because you can see it. Most people feel it right now, but once you actually see it and see what's happened here, it changes your whole dynamic and your whole um, lens in which you look through. So let's look at this. Let's talk about where I bought in. So this is this is where I bought my rental house, 2015. The average home price in Canada was $413,000. The price of one Bitcoin was $380. <laughs> and so this is what it would have cost me in Bitcoin to buy a house, a thousand Bitcoin. I sold it right here. Twenty twenty one, the average home in Canada was six hundred eighty eight thousand. The price of Bitcoin was fifty thousand, and that would have cost me thirteen Bitcoin to buy that house. So you can see the difference here, and this is I think that most people can really relate to this because that they've seen the prices of houses go up over the last 10, 20 years significantly in dollars, and that's kind of the world that we live in, and that's what the lens. That's the lens that everybody historically has looked through. They see that their house has gone from 413,000 to 688,000. So my personally, mine was about 200,000 and it went to say 250,000. So that's a pretty good investment. Plus, if you're doing things right, you should be making some money uh, from your tenants. You should be paying down your debt. But that's uh if you look at the average returns over real estate it's not really that high so your price went from 413 to 688,000 but look at bitcoin that house cost you a thousand dollar or a thousand bitcoin back in 2015 and in 2021 it cost you 13 bitcoin and this is real estate, but you can look at any other asset on earth and use this exact same. If you measure things in Bitcoin instead of fiat, you'll, you'll realize what's happening here in the world. Everything is falling in comparison to Bitcoin. Everything. So that, that was, uh, unfortunately, I didn't time it this well. I bought a rental house here instead of Bitcoin. <laughs> so not ideal for me that's what i regret is even buying it but i didn't have a clue what bitcoin was back in 2015 so i'm not going to spend too much time living in the what if world i'm just happy that i got out of it when i did so that's the first aspect you have to look at the you have to measure things in bitcoin when you measure things in bitcoin it looks totally different than when you measure things in fiat totally different so that's the first one and a very, probably the most important one there. And even realtors understand that. I met with a realtor two weeks ago and she totally wrapped her head around what's happening here. House, house prices are going up, but when you actually measure it in Bitcoin, housing prices are going way down compared to Bitcoin. And so ju just stop right there and consider the conversation that we have leading up to this about what's coming in Bitcoin. So this is where it's been so far. Imagine where, what it's going to look like in two years from now. Because currently that same house is 11 Bitcoin. And it's going to keep going down and down and down. And probably in 10 years, you might be able to buy a house for half a Bitcoin. If this continues, if this trend continues. And I see absolutely no reason for it not to. So as Jason says here, your home didn't get 40% better. The money supply inflated by 40%. And that's what most people miss. Homes don't get more valuable. If you put a new hot tub in, or if you you know do a whole bunch of landscaping, you reno renovate your kitchen, it, you put money into it and it becomes more valuable. But just because your house sits there for a while, 
nothing changed. It didn't become more valuable. The money supply just increased. And that's the paradigm shift. That's a mindset that most people miss. And that's why I wanted to do this video today. So that's the first one, the, the actual cost of inflation, the cost of the money supply increasing, the cost of our governments taking on more and more debt and us having to pay for that. You look at a, you look at a, there was a chart I saw the other day. And if you were born in like 1990 and it hurt 2000, I think it was 2005. And you look at the U S debt clock and how much it says per citizen on there. It's like 200, $220,000 of debt per citizen. And that's just on like the money that they owe to the central banks. That doesn't include the pensions or the healthcare or all that, the unfunded stuff. You're born into this world and you have $220,000 worth of debt on your back from your government. That's not a great place to be. And kids nowadays have been told that they're never going to be able to afford a house. And I agree with that. I don't think that anybody under the age of 30 living in the fiat world is going to be able to buy their own house. It's just not possible anymore. But if you live in Bitcoin, if you save in Bitcoin, if you earn in Bitcoin, that flips everything on its head. You're absolutely going to be able to afford a house the nicest house on the block if you're living in Bitcoin. Uh, 